Many parents ask me, is there a problem if their child continues to mouth breathe? Orthodontically, absolutely, and let me show you. Uh, when a palate develops, it should develop what we call a Roman arch form, which is this shape. And it forms that way because the tongue should sit in the top of the palate, which happens when you breathe through your nose with your lips together. If you mouth breathe, like this, where does your tongue go? It drops down. And when your tongue is taken out of the equation because you suck your thumb or you're tongue tied or you can't breathe through your nose, you have the cheek muscles squashing the upper jaw, resulting in crowding and in the lower jaw dropping back what we call an overbite. So the earlier you can fix mouth breathing in your children, the better.